Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy, and I am a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm preparing for an upcoming cruise. All right, you guys, so I am currently like working on like a travel planning series. This is, I guess, I don't know whether to call it my second or third video in that series. So I had previously filmed a video where I showed you how I was using a happy planner notebook to create a travel memory keeping book. And in that book, I kind of listed all the places I've been ever. Um, I have kind of started expanding that now and I've moved that from a happy planner notebook to an actual Archer and Olive notebook. I've done a flip through of that um, in a YouTube short, but I might actually do a full video of that if you guys like to see that and then let me know. So that I guess was technically the first video. The second video was a video of if you know that you want to take a vacation, but you're still trying to like pinpoint where you want to go, I just kind of gave some ideas on how to get that brainstorm going as far as budgeting, things you have to consider and things like that. And then I created a few fun pages. So it was kind of more of a plan with me type thing or a create with me type thing. So I have that one as well. And I will be sure to link all of those videos down below. So like I said in the intro, this is actually going to be a video where I'm showing you how I am preparing for a cruise that I just booked that I'm actually going to be taking in a few months. So I've already created all the pages. So I'm just going to be doing a flip through of it. Um, hopefully it won't take as long, but I can be chatty. So no promises. <laughs> all right. Um, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So this book, um, I actually used the cover. There are some pages from this book, but this was an actual memory keeping book that came with a be happy box that I purchased from happy planner. Um, I don't know the name of it. I think it might have had adventure in the title, might have travel in the title. I will link it down below <laughs> so you don't have to worry about finding it um, by the name. And that is an affiliate link. So all of my Happy Planner links that I do link in the description are affiliate links. I receive a tiny, tiny commission on anything that you purchase from that link. So I greatly appreciate it if you did use it. But yeah, this was part of that Be Happy box that I held strong for a long time. And then I finally caved and purchased it because it came with like all kinds of fun stuff, including a sticker book. And I'm glad I did because I really like this cover. And just so you guys know, it came with these types of pages. So this is a true memory keeping type page where you can put pictures and stuff like that. And I do plan to use these pages um, somewhat. We'll find out what I'm actually going to use them for. Cause like I said, I am now using an Archer and Olive notebook for my actual travel memory keeping book. So we will see. <laughs> Let me flip to my travel planning section, which is this one. Okay. Had to make sure I was in frame cause I am so bad about that guys. I need to like mark off <laughs> the areas. All right. So I created this divider. This was like the first thing I did once I found out I was going to Italy. Um, this divider I created, I do have a short that I will link down below where I kind of showed you quickly how I did this, but I purchased this wrong, wrong, wonderless calendar. It was on clearance and I purchased it specifically for the artwork. I'm not I don't use wall calendars. I just thought the artwork was gorgeous. And I am planning on using the artwork whenever I book a trip to create a divider. Um, yes, I have some high aspirations. <laughs> but I was so happy that I was able to use this one because this is Italy. You see she has pizza, pasta, and amore. So yeah, um, all I did was I put this here. I taped a scrapbook page. This is a, I have a whole bunch of map scrapbook paper. This actually was one of Italy. I just taped this to the back, um, cut it down to size and then ran it through the laminator and voila, there you have it. So therefore I know this is going to be all of my Italian cruise planning. <laughs> all right. All of the paper that I'm using here is going to be from the Happy Planner. And if it is still available, I will link it down in the description box below. So I have a whole bunch of these expense tracker half sheets, and I plan to use this to actually jot down all of my expenses, my pre-cruise expenses. So anything that I book pre-cruise, and if I book it pre-cruise, I'm likely going to be paying it pre-cruise. Um, I'm not going to be adding 
I'm not going to be doing this post cruise. So this is only going to be pre cruise. My goal is to pay off everything that is pre cruise before I go. So my credit card has a zero balance and therefore I can see how much I actually spend on my cruise. <laughs> and for those of you that have cruised before, you also know that there are expenses that you incur for the cruise while you're on the cruise, like gratuities and things like that are automatically added, but you're not charged for that until the end of your cruise. So, things like that, I'm still going to have cruise related expenses that are not going to be counted for until the end of my trip, but that's beside the point. Um, this is an actual happy planner fitness half sheets. Um, I will also link this down below. I can't remember what I whited out. I don't remember if it was week or month. So it was like month one, month two, month three. I whited it out and put months here because I have certain things that I really need to do prior to the cruise and I really need to get them done in certain time frames. For example, July and August is here. So then I pretty much need to book everything. I need to book all my excursions, all my hotels, all my transfers, things like that needs to get done. In September, I need to book anything that I haven't booked. <laughs> yes, you can see this is very complicated. Um, I have a lot of things to book, but right now I just I just kept this basic. Um, and then I also need to consider currency exchange. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that before I get there or after I get there. I do have an ATM card that will allow me <clears throat> to use ATMs in other countries and they will reimburse me some of those expenses, not all of them, but most of the expenses. So it's not very costly to do that, but <clears throat> I intended to do that on a previous trip when I went to South America and the ATM machine did not have an English option. And I was like, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. So I got, I freaked out and canceled it. I'm thinking in Italy, there may be like an English and Italian option. Um, but I don't know if I want to rely on that. So we'll see if you have any like suggestions about whether or not I should <laughs> get my currency beforehand. I don't need a lot. I pretty much only need it for, I would say tips and stuff like that. Um, then let me know if I should just wait and exchange it there. And then finally the month of, I pretty much just need to confirm my hotel bookings. I just want to make sure they have record of me because I will be booking it online. And sometimes you book it and you think everything's fine and well, and then you get there and they can't find your reservation. So I just want to kind of call or either email and get that written or verbal confirmation that they have me in their system, print out all confirmations, and then, you know, schedule my hair and nail appointment because I got to look all fresh for all the photos I'm going to be taking, right? It's the only time I literally take photos of myself is when I'm on vacation. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> This next page is a brain dump page. This, unfortunately, this paper, which is my absolute favorite filler paper from Happy Planner, and it is not neutral, and I'm such a neutral girl because I like to decorate, but this paper is so perfect because of how it's divided, and I don't need to decorate it because it's so pretty. Um, however, if you use big, if you use the Happy Planner big size or the Happy Planner mini, the mini is a little bit different um, as far as the layout of this page, but they do have this paper available in those sizes. I will link it down below just in case you have one of those planners because I love this paper. It is so pretty. Um, and like I said, it was so great to divide it. So basically I need to brainstorm hotels, restaurants, and transfers. <laughs> That's simple for what it is for both where I'm flying into Venice because we're flying in a day early and then where we're flying out of is Barcelona because we're flying out the day after our cruise dock. So we are spending an extra day in each place and I just kind of, you know, I've been, I, I started looking at some like Facebook groups and some message boards, but I plan to kind of dig into that further and jot down any suggestions I find on there. And if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. And then I would add them here as well. <laughs> and what I plan to do is with these suggestions, I'll dig into it further to see what options are the best fit for me and my best friend. Okay. This page is actually my excursion planning page. Again, I use the same paper. See how pretty it is. And um, yeah, because there's like, you know, four blocks here, four blocks there. I have seven destinations I'm seeing. So this worked out perfectly. All I'm doing here, this is another brainstorming page, but I have this arranged by our actual stops. So the ports that we are visiting. And all I wanted to do was write down the places that I read that I should try to see. So I'm writing them all down 
realistically, I'm not going to be able to do or see all of the places that I'm writing down. A perfect example is Rome. So the Colosseum and the Vatican, those are two places that if you want to see them, you pretty much need to do a tour where you only visit the outside of both places. If you want to see the inside, you probably are going to have to do either or if you're doing a shore excursion, just because it takes so long to get from the actual cruise port to these cities. Um, I hear that it's a couple of hours, but traffic could actually impact that. So, you know, I kind of jotted down the things that we would like to see. I need to add a couple more to Rome. And then what, what I'm going to do is me and my best friend are going to get together and we're going to kind of talk about some things that we would like to do. And once we kind of narrow that down, then we're going to get some booking. Because when it comes to excursions, I don't want to look at the prices first and book my excursion based on the price because then I feel like I might be cheating myself out of seeing something I really want to see, if that makes sense. I'm a very frugal traveler, but I don't know when I'm going to make it here again. So I really want to see the things I want to see. So I think the first thing we're going to do is narrow down what we want to see, like our must-sees and then things that we would like to see maybe, and then things we really don't care about. And then I will like start getting in on the excursions and we're not going to have tons of options um just because our time is limited <laughs> and i don't know but when i say this we might i think we're going to be primarily booking excursions on our own and not through the cruise ships and we're not going to do private but we're going to try to do small groups i don't know that that really matters to you guys but that's just my personal preference and i just figured out what added okay now we're getting into the fun stuff, the packing list. This is where I got all like, you know, became my decorative <laughs> self. Um, but before we get to that, I added this half sheet here as just a reminder. I literally wrote to buy so I can remember. Yeah, sometimes my memory has like literally been like off the chain. Like I just can't remember anything. So I wanted to add this here. So that way, as I'm writing my packing list and there's things that I need to buy, for example, prime example. I have big power banks. They're like the larger ones, but I want a mini power bank. Um, I'm not going to write that here because um, I'm filming this actually on prime day. <laughs> so I'm probably going to order that today, but I just want like a little mini one. So that way I can try. It's easier to, for me to carry when I travel because um, it's not as big and bulky. So like that is something I would add here. I'm going to try not to have to buy any new clothes, any new shoes or anything like that. This is just going to be like travel essentials, not clothing. <laughs> All right. Packing list. This is the fun one. Um, so what I did here is I use an old outdated happy planner, ver classic vertical planner for my packing list. And you will see why when I flip the page, but I want to show you this page first. So these stickers, except for the boxes, came from Calava Plans Travel Basic Sticker Book. Love this sticker book. I have used a lot of it. Even this title came from that sticker book. So um, I just kind of wanted to decorate it up. These boxes came from Mojo Jojo um, Rainbow Boxes. I have like pretty much her whole collection now. <laughs> but this is going to be, this first page is gonna primarily be my carry-on. So stuff that I'm going to put in my carry on because these are my essential essentials. These are things that a lot of this stuff you can pick up like my electronics and other essentials. This stuff you can't, but, um, this is stuff that I feel like I need to function. <laughs> like I need a phone charger, right? And a camera cord, right? So yeah. Um, so this is like all my travel documents. So passport, insurance card, travel insurance documents, all my confirmations and stuff like that. Again, this is all my electronics. I had to write like a converter slash adapter because we are going to another country. My other essentials are like jacket, umbrella, sunglasses. Again, this is all stuff that is going on my carry on that I want to kind of have with me in case I need it when I get off the plane type of thing. And this is why I decided to go with the vertical instead of no pages. All right. So for people who want to know where I got the stickers from, these stickers and then these stickers and stuff like that came from this book. Again, this is Happy Planners Travel Book. I will link this down in the description as well. I have two of those. I love them. They're, this is a very functional book. They do have some decorative stickers, but it's primarily function. Obviously, it has some decorative. 
And then all of these came from the Agenda 52 Girls book. I'm not sure if that's still available. That's a Hobby Lobby brand. Um, but it was one of those books that was heavily discounted earlier this year. So I'm assuming it's an old book that they tried to get rid of. So you might not have luck finding it, but maybe they create like a new one, like a version two. But like, I'll never use any of these <laughs> stickers. I figured it was perfect for my packing list. So that is one of the reasons I actually decided to decorate it. To use stickers, I probably would not use. So I used the, the stickers here to cover up the dates that I was not traveling because this section here, I'm going to add more packing stuff. That's why I used the checklist that came again from Mojo Jojo's Check It Off sticker book. Um, and I will literally check it off. Um, so this is again going to be non-clothing items or it may be like my clothing basics, but not actually what I'm wearing that day. So like I might write, you know, like brush comb, but I'm going to get specific, which is why I wanted a lot of space to do it so I can check it off. Like I don't want to just say like hair stuff or things like that. Like I want to break it down. So I'm hoping this is enough room. I'm trying to travel light. I know it's a lot of dots, so traveling light doesn't seem like a thing. But when you start adding a lot of small stuff, it, it, it still might be semi-light. <laughs> and now we're going to actually get to what I plan on using this for and I'll show you on this page. So I wrote down all of our stops and then I wrote down the average temperature for those places and then once we book our excursions I will write down what we're actually doing. So if it's a walking tour and we are visiting this place, this place, and this place, I'll write that here. If it is a bike tour I will write that down. Things like that. And then in this row, I'm going to write down the outfit that I'm going to wear during the day doing those excursions. This might sound all fancy. I'm telling you right now, a lot of those are going to be like yoga pants and a comfy top and tennis shoes. But I, you know, because we're on a cruise ship, we can like send our clothes away for laundry. But I'm just going to go ahead and pack an outfit a day, especially if I do something like thin clothing and don't do jeans, then I should be fine as far as packing. They should not take up a lot of room. And then this bottom row I'm going to be using for my nighttime outfits. Like on a cruise, there are like two, um, two, what am I trying to think of? The fancy nights. Um, yeah, fancy nights. <laughs> I don't know why it escaped my brain, but where you're kind of supposed to dress up a little bit more. I know it's going to be on that Tuesday and then I'll probably be on the last day. So obviously I'm going to dress up those days. There are probably a couple of days that I probably will dress up um, also on the cruise, like probably on that Monday because we're going to be getting there and we're going to be excited. So I'm going to take some dresses. I'm going to change into some dresses. So I will be taking some nighttime outfits as well. And then when I'm in Venice and Spain, I will probably change into outfits because we're going to be out and about, even though it's like the weather's not like the summer, I'm sure I'm going to want to shower and before I go to dinner and then I want to change clothes. <laughs> Too much information, but yes, I'm trying to justify why I'm packing so many outfits and why I need to use this happy planner classic vertical okay <laughs> but no i'm excited to use this and i'm really glad i did it off camera because i had planned on doing this and i had done all this probably like last week like right after i had booked my trip and then i just did this like the other day so it did take you know i decided to do this i was like oh you know what i i should use this for my other packing list that isn't going to be day by day and I was like, that's a great, you know, great idea because I'm going to be doing, like I said, my travel planning and another planner. This isn't, this is just packing. So yeah. And that's pretty much it. I added some half sheets and then this sheet was just what we, what I created to brainstorm a budget prior to booking. Um, we didn't have very much time because it was a really, really good price. So all I did was kind of did like literally a five minute search to kind of see what the rates were for hotels, excursions and things like that. So we can kind of see if this was a trip that we could afford beans. We didn't have time to really save for it. So yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> that is my cruise prep thus far. 
I am sure there's going to be some other pages. I don't think if I create other pages, they're going to be fancy. I think those blank pages I showed you, it was just going to be handwritten stuff. I created these fancy pages because those are things I need to get done. So they were more like a checklist or a reminder of these are things I need to think about. Um, so that way when I'm getting down into it, I already have that created, but I think all the other pages are just going to be just handwritten, nothing separated and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions. Like I said, if you have any suggestions for any of these places that I'm going, please let me know. I would love to hear it. Um, like I said, I am hoping to start my planning pretty soon. <laughs> I need to start my planning pretty soon. Um, yeah, so yeah, whatever you can offer, let me know. All right, thank you so much for viewing this video. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I wanna give a big thank you to all of my returning viewers as well as my returning subscribers. That is all I have for now. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time, bye.